Today we're talking about first birthday smash cake outfits for boys. Welcome back, you guys. My name is Daniel Troutman. I am the photographer around these parts at thesmashcake.com, as well as a studio owner in downtown Albany, Oregon, and I specialize in smash cake photography. Now, today we're talking about first birthday outfits specifically for little boys. So today we're going to dive into the types of outfits that I choose for little boys, and we will be using thesmashcake.com as a resource uh, for all of the outfits today that we're talking about. And uh, let's just get started. Now, the first type I want to talk to you guys about is really, it's just a onesie. Onesies are probably my favorite outfit for kids, especially if I get the sense that the child I'll be photographing is a little bit sensitive. You see, onesies are, are comfortable because the child has really been in a onesie since day one. They came home from the hospital in a onesie, and if you're looking for an outfit that they're all universally going to be comfortable in, a onesie is a really great place to start. Now, as you can see, the onesies are, uh, they have all sorts of different printing on them. They're all screen printed with different designs, so no matter what theme you have going on for your Smash Cake session, uh, you're guaranteed to find a onesie that will fit that theme. So let's go ahead and cruise around here and look at a couple of others. Now, at the end of this video, I will share with you guys the onesie that I absolutely love, that I haven't shot with yet, with yet, the one that I'm dying to shoot with. I'll go ahead and share that onesie with you because it's absolutely killer and it will crack you up. But you're going to have to wait till the end of the video to see my favorite onesie. Now, not all onesies have to be simple. Not all of them have to be graphic printed, and uh, they can be elevated. And this is a great example of an elevated onesie. This is one of my favorites. It's got the bow tie built in. It's got the buttons built in. And this really looks uh, like a higher end. It's still a onesie, but it looks very higher end or high end. Yeah, okay, maybe dress casual. Let's not say high end, it's dress casual. <laughs> but it looks a whole lot better than a screen print at just plain old onesie. So if you want to elevate your Smash Cake session, look at a onesie like this. And there are tons of them over here. Uh, you could just keep cruising for pages and find all sorts of uh, different options. And uh, yeah. Now, there is a thing about onesies that I want you guys to pay attention to because I see this all the time. It's a mistake that I see in national advertising campaigns even. I have seen it. Um, I have flipped open a magazine and there was this glaring error. And it's simply when you photograph in just a onesie and the child sits down to eat their cake, what happens? Their little legs kind of spread open. And what can you see but the fringe of a nasty nasty dirty okay maybe not dirty but a nasty diaper i do not want to see that and it just doesn't look good and i cannot believe that in a national campaign somebody would just go ahead and let that fly they would not photoshop out the diaper fringe in the crotch so it's just when you're using a onesie i want you guys to promise me to pay attention to that and if it doesn't bother you fine leave it in just don't show me because my head will explode but pay attention to it because that is the drawback to a onesie but, like I said, you can find one that fits all the themes you've got, and they're super, super comfortable. The children love them. So onesies are fantastic, and it's a great place to start, especially you moms and dads out there doing a home shoot. I'd start with a onesie. Now let's go ahead and talk about the next type of outfit that we use all the time at our studio, and it is the diaper cover suspender bow tie combo. Not really sure what to call it, but it looks like this. This is a great example of the bow tie suspender diaper cover combo. Now you don't have to be into baseball. You obviously don't have to buy the baseball one, but they have one out there that will fit any theme on the planet. And they come with uh, lots of little accessories and they're absolutely a fantastic place to start. And that's simply because when your children are smashing the cake, you know, their arm, their little arms are hanging out, their little legs are hanging out and their cute little belly is hanging out. And that when you, you know, you have the cake carnage and the frosting everywhere and they're smeared with uh, head to toe even in their little belly uh, with frosting it's probably as cute as it's gonna get and the parents love it they just they can't get enough of it so it's one of my highest requested outfits and we use them a lot at our studio now the best part about these outfits is they do tend to be easy cleanup and you can definitely uh, reuse them again and again and again a lot of those onesies especially the white ones or the thinner onesies when you hit them with frosting they're done it's a once and done 
done situation because that frosting will stain the onesie and you are done. You get to throw that away at the end of the shoot. But something like this, um, these suspenders really do clean up or they, they take abuse and they clean up nicely and they don't tend to stain. So, and the diaper cover, if it does stain, well, guess what? It's just a diaper cover and you're only out, you know, what, $1.50, $2 to replace it. So when you want to start talking about value for money and reusing outfits for your shoot and uh, building a costume, you know, trunk it, at your studio, this is the best way to go. I would definitely recommend you buy, you know, a, a ton of these in different colors and really kind of start building your set with these because everybody loves them. They're virtually indestructible and they're dirt, dirt cheap. Now the next item on the list, the next type of outfit that we use is really not even, a, I, I'm, I almost feel guilty putting it on the list because honestly, it's just street clothes. Nothing says you have to photograph a child in a outfit that was specifically de designed for smash cake or flown in from overseas and hand beaded together by Tibetan monks. It doesn't have to be special. It just has to look good. It has to fit your theme. And if that's a pair of jeans with a little vest and a bow tie, so be it. I mean, who says? You're the, you're the artist. You do you, right? So this is a great example of what I'm talking about. This is an outfit that can be worn to church or grandma's or anywhere, really. And uh, it doesn't have to be a smash cake outfit. But this is cute as a button. And if you're doing like a white and gray set, this would be a go-to outfit. So I really want you guys to, uh, to not really stress out so much about searching for specifically smash cake outfits online you can find outfits everywhere if it looks good it looks good who cares what it was designed for now if you are going to use street clothes i do have a pro tip for you guys i personally tend to steer away from sets that have jeans and prefer to gravitate towards things that have shorts because i really believe that a lot of the cute factor in a smash cake a uh, photo shoot is in the chubby little legs that are just, you know, smeared with frosting. It looks fantastic. And if you cover that up, you're kind of missing out on a lot of the cute. The next type of outfit that we're going to talk about is really just an elevated onesie. Now, here is a great example. This little lumberjack set here is an amazing example of what I'm talking about. It's just a screen printed onesie, but they went ahead and elevated it with a couple of leg warmers on the side. And I can tell you from experience, these leg warmers, they make the outfit, okay? There's just something about it. They're just cute as a button. Uh, parents go completely bananas for these. So, and again, you know, leg warmers are virtually indestructible. They won't stain. You might lose this onesie. And if you do, you still have the leg warmers and you can use them for other outfits. So really and truly, this is a fun way to go. It's incredibly versatile and it is another great way for you to start building the parts and pieces to your costume trunk at your studio. So I highly recommend checking out something like the Lumberjack set. Now, if you want to just buy the leg warmers and the tie uh, that match, you know, just by themselves, you can totally do that. You can see that there's some right here. And as you cruise the website, you're going to find uh, a ton of those. And that's a great way for you to build your costume closet as well. Okay, so the next type of outfit that we're talking about is going to be one that is a hot button topic amongst us Smash Cake photographers. Some of us love them, some of us hate them, and I'm talking about, of course, the costume. Now, one thing I have learned uh, is you have to make your client happy. I've also learned that clients are not artists and they cannot see what we see at our head. So when we offer to do a, our own version, we, we offer to hand create our own version of say a Winnie the Pooh costume, our clients aren't artists. They don't understand or see what we see in our minds and they really are uneasy not knowing what to expect. So you really have to just be cool with the fact that sometimes, especially when you're working with movies or cartoons, that your client is wanting a very literal representation of that, that cartoon character. So take off your artist hat and just put your client pleasing hat on and know that when you make your client happy, it's gonna come back to you in the sales room. So now let's take a bit of a pause to pander for a thumbs up because if you thumbs up this video, it will make it available to other Smash Cake photographers who might 
enjoy the video as well. So a, th a little bitty thumbs up goes a very, very long way. And if you don't want to miss our videos, of course, subscribing is the way to never miss one of our videos. And all you have to do is, well, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. So I feel like I was pandering a little bit there, right? Just a little bit. And I'm sorry, but I'm going to make it up to you. Now, remember when I promised to tell you guys about my favorite onesie on this site that is just so epically awesome, right? Y'all remember that onesie. Well, now it's time for me to reveal the most amazing epically awesome onesie on the smashcake.com. You ready? I'm going to push the button. One, two, three. There it is. The baby boy tattoo long sleeve black romper. Let that sink in for just a minute. All right. That is a romper with a tattoo sleeve attached to it, right? Little dude with tattoos. And for the right parent, this would be amazing. This would be epic. Even for the wrong parent, I don't know. But check this out. Look at that. The thing I love about this the most is there is a pinup girl riding a bomb on the sleeve of a onesie. It just simply doesn't get any better than that onesie. I absolutely want to do a shoot, and I cannot wait to do a shoot with that onesie. I'll probably do one specifically for the smashcake.com and write a blog about it, because that is probably the most epic onesie I have ever seen. All right, you guys, well, that's pretty much it for our outfits. I wanna thank you guys for cruising along with me. And I wanna remind you that we do have other great video content out there. And all you have to do is click on one of these videos that exists uh, somewhere over in this region here. So until next time, guys, I'm Daniel Troutman with thesmashcake.com. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got something out of it. Again, thumbs up, subscribe, all that stuff. And thanks for watching, you guys. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.